It's that time of year when we're all spending time with our nearest and dearest, but as ever, there is always that one you don't want to be seeing. It's no different for us as we travel to Boston for a Boxing Day derby in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video and today guys, we've got episode number 20 of the Kingsland Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. It's all about the 20s today people and just before we do crack on with the video, if you could do me a massive favour, pop a thumbs up down below if you are enjoying the series thus far it would help me out and it would help the channel out with the youtube algorithm so please do if you are enjoying the series pop a thumbs up down below and now let's crack on with the video here we are on the club vision screen and we're starting here for three reasons Number one, I want to talk about the five-year plan. And number two, I want to talk about board requests. And number three, you can't see how we're doing in the league yet. And I don't want you to see it until until um, I want you to see it. So, yep, happy days. Let's start off with the five-year plan. And currently, we are on course to work within the ways budget. That goes hand in hand with the board request you can see as well, where they have increased the wage budget. I'll show you on the home screen in a minute how we are doing as far as wages. I can tell you, we've got a lot, a lot of space on the wage budget. So that's going very well. And then as for the targets for the current season, we're currently on course to finish in the playoff spots in the Manorama National League North. So the board are very, very pleased with that. And as well as that, they're very happy that we passed the objective to get into the first round proper of the FA Cup. If you haven't seen our game in the FA Cup, pause this one. Go back and watch it. It's only in the video before this. So go and check that out if you haven't already. So pause this now. You're back. Awesome. All right then. Very good video, wasn't it, people? And so, yep, unfortunately, we didn't make it past the first round. But getting there is enough to keep the board happy. And then the one only minor objective, we did fail. We have not reached the third round of the FA Trophy. So that is quite disappointing. But at least the three major ones we have all passed or looking like we're going to. So yeah, very, very happy days there. And as far as board requests, we've got a new contract. I actually got it back in September, I think it was. But I forgot to mention it, so I'm mentioning it, mentioning it now. We're, we're here until the end of next season at least. So that's a bit more stability, a bit more security. So all happy days there. As well as that, our pitch is in a generally hideous state. I tried to get the board to relay it at the end of last season, but they wouldn't. And so I thought I'd ask them again when all the money started coming in. But they're not going to do it until the end of the season, despite, despite it only taking one day. If anybody is a pitch relayer expert or knows why they're waiting till the end of the season when it only takes one day, Please do let me know because I would love to know and I would love to have a fresh pitch now. A fresh pitch now with how we're playing with the sort of passing and all of that stuff would be beautiful. But for some reason they want us to wait so we got to wait. But as well as that, like I said, the wage budget has been increased as has the percentage of transfer revenue. And I'll show you the results of the games since you was last with me. And then I'll show you the, the new wage budget and the new transfer revenue percentage. So let's go into the schedule. The game in the last video was, of course, the two games against Ebb's Fleet in the FA Cup. Unfortunately, ended up losing that in extra time of the replay. Very disappointing. But we hung with a team from the league above for more than two games. So I'm very happy with that. And following that, 
we moved on to a 3-0 victory against Soham in the FA Trophy. Romain Mundell won it for us in the first 10 minutes. Two goals there, really taking the game away from them. And then we never looked like losing from there. Adam Marriott, of course, continuing his amazing season to carry on scoring there. He finished the game up. Very nice performance. And then, after that, another 3-0 win. This time against Kidderminster. Wigget, Mbala and Marriott with the goals. Three different goal scorers. Very nice to see. Nice to see, nice to see Wigget getting one as well, to be honest. And not often he's been scoring. So, good, good for the old central defender to get himself one. And then after that, we had a 1-1 draw against Tamworth. This is a game where I thought we were going to win it. Joseph Fitchett, our youngster who's been playing on the right-hand side, he got his first goal for the club, and I thought we was going to win it. But they got an equaliser in the 86th. And then following that, never really looked like getting much out of that. So we got a point. It kept our unbeaten run going in the league. So that is the most important thing, and I'm happy with that. But what I'm not happy with is losing to Barrow in the FA Trophy. 3-2, we lost it. Adam Marriott tried his best to keep us in it. He scored two, one from the penalty spot, one in the 77th minute from open play. But they won it in the 92nd minute. Jaden Major with a major goal for the club. And yeah, a little bit disappointing, but I'm not that bothered about the FA Trophy, to be honest. What it means now is that we've only got league games left, so we can stay fresh and stay fit for what is going to be a very important run-in in the rest of the season. Because as you can see up above, we are still top, and there is a reason it's Boston today. There is a reason it's Boston again today. I know we've played them a few times in this series. But yeah, there's a reason and you will see it in a minute. And then last game up, another game where we've conceded late. Maybe stamina is a little bit of an issue. Maybe that might be something we have to look at. Adam Marriott gave us the lead in the 25th minute versus Geisley from the penalty spot. And again, I thought we was all set to win it. But we never really kicked on after that game. We never really pushed forward and we never looked like getting a second. And then they punished us for that in the 91st minute. Trey Pemberton with a late minute goal. So yeah, very disappointing not to get the win there. But we move on to today. And the reason why it's Boston again. You can see it there. Let me bring it up big. Boston are in second. They are on level points with us. Nowhere near our amount of goal difference. Nobody in the league is near our goal difference, to be quite honest. But, yep, it's a massive game. Two local rivals fighting it out over top spot in the league. Should be very, very good game, this. And so, let's, have, let's as well have a look at the ways budget. We have got... £1,100 a week available to us in the ways budget. So I am very, very happy with that. Oh, why is my microphone going see-through? Ooh, okay. Strange. Yep, so 1100 quid in the ways budget. Very happy with that. And I think it's finances as well where you look at how much transfer revenue you can get. And yep, we are keeping 90% of transfer, re transfer revenue made available until two million pound revenue has been generated so we're going to be making money but then we're not going to be allowed to keep it can someone explain that please because if we're making so much money why have we got to drop down to only 50 percent that confuses me but oh well like most things that confuses me i'm going to completely ignore it and i'm going to run away as fast as possible and so Let's crack on and get in to the team for today's game versus Boston. Here it is. The team is as follows. Barnes in goal. Wilson at left back. Wiggett and Smith are our central defenders. Richards is on the right hand side. Wilson as a wing back. Richards as a full back. And in the midfield, we've got Mbala still on the left. 
Roy and Simmons are still in the midfield. Brown is on the right hand side today. And then as ever up top it's Romain Mundell just behind Adam Marriott. Not much changing from the last game. We've been playing well and this is a big, big game. So I wanted to go for a fairly uh, consistent team. That's the word I'm looking for. And so now let's go. Let's go forward into the game. We are the favourites for this game. Four to five on to win it. But Boston are in a better recent form. Winning four of their last five. We've only won two and drawn two and lost the other one. And we haven't yet beat Boston in this save. Did not realise that. Oh, that makes this game so much bigger. Now we're in the dressing room. Let's go do the team talk. What do we want? Uh, I think we go... Go out there and impress me. No reaction. That's not gone well. Now a couple are. And just as always, I believe you've got what it takes. And yet, that's everyone but the keeper motivated or happy now. So that is good. Now, what prediction do I want? 2-0 uh, two -nil us. 2-0 two -nil us, I'm saying. Come on, you Linnets. Oh, finally a highlight in this game. 38 minutes in. Mbala gets the ball off our throw in. And can he cross it into the box? He tries to. Hits a man. Goes to Wilson. To right. To Simmons on the edge of the box. And we've taken the lead. Xavier Simmons with his ninth of the season from just outside the box. And that is a brilliant way to start our boxing day. With a very nice goal against our local rivals. We was a little bit lucky here to get the ball back after it hit the Boston man. But Diaz Wright found Simmons and his long range effort was never going to miss. Very, very nice goal. Now just 30 seconds left of normal time in the first half. Mundell with the ball. He loses it out there but gets it back and gives it away again. And note a little bit of a battle there but and he gets it back. Diaz Wright out wide to Mbala. He's got a man here with him. Wilson with the cross. Goes to Mundell and it's off the bar and goes out for a goal kick. And that is half time. Only the two highlights. Been a bit of a clawy game. A bit of a scratchy game I think you can say. We've both had four shots. We've had two on target. Two there one. 55% of possession though, we're still doing very well with possession, which is very beautiful to see. And now let's go into the dressing room, and I'm going to go passionate. You've played well so far, but there's still room for improvement. Again, no reaction. You've got what it takes. You've got what it takes. And yep, few people motivated there. Hopefully, Marriott can get one to really finish the game off and keep his record going. So, let's go start the second half. One more goal would be nice as well to finish off my prediction. Oh, immediately at the start of the second half, Wilson throws it forward to Mbala. To Wilson. And he just keeps hold of it. Tries to flick it into the middle. But Boston with the interception. Simpson to right to Aspie. And he goes wide to Kennedy. Kennedy! And that goes wide. Richards with the ball there, collecting it. Off their missed time pass. Barnes. Go for a little bit of a stroll. He's under no pressure. Goes short to Richards. Back to our keeper again. Wiggett. And he goes long. Mundell, can he flick this on? No, he can't. But Simmons gets it. Diaz right to Simmons. To Mundell. He's got Marriott in space. Marriott is in against his old team. He's just passed it back to the keeper. That is disappointing. And all oh, immediately again after. Wilson to Mundell. Loses it out there to Prosser. But Mundell wins it back. And he crosses it into the box. Their keeper punches it away. Only as far as George Brown. George Brown on the right hand side. Tries to cross it in. Good man heads it away. And Barlow with a... What would have been a spectacular goal, but the ball goes over the top. Just about half an hour left. George Brown now again off a throw in. Crosses it into the box. Their man heads it away and it's 2-0. Diaz right with his first for the club. Yes, that is what you like to see. 
That was again another very nice goal. And now we are dominating Boston. Here we go again, off the replay. Brown with it, crossed it in. Their man headed it away. And our man right on the half volley, just absolutely thumping the ball home. 25 minutes left. Oh, that was a bit loud. Sorry, lads. George Brown with it. And now back to Richards. Can we get a third? That would be beautiful. Diaz right out wide. And that's right onto Embala. And he's given the ball away, unfortunately. But won it back. And now Marriott in space. And oh, he's volleyed it. But he's hit the post. Okay, just under 20 minutes left. We're just making a couple of changes. Fitchit, the youngster, is coming on for George Brown, who hasn't done too much in this game. And I'm tempted to take Mundo off for Terrell Whitaker. You know what? Let's, let's go for it. We're 2-0 up. I can't see us losing this. So let's go 4-4-2 and see what happens in the last 20 minutes. And just before those changes can be made, it's Embala with a free kick. Simpson heads away. Mundell was just about to come off. Plays it forward to right. And he goes for the shot. And that's easy enough for Willis to save. Five minutes left. We've got a throw in deep in our own half. It goes to Embala, Who just hits it against Ruffles for some reason. And it goes into the box. And oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Don't, don't let us throw this one away. Please don't let us throw this one away. What was Embala doing? It just kicking against Ruffles. And Simpson giving us a real dull moment there. Can we see this game through? Two minutes left. Wilson throws it long. Marriott. He plays it to Embala, who's in space. Can he finish it up? He can. He makes up for his error. 3-1 to the Kingsland, boys. And we have finally beaten Boston in this save. Marriott not on the score sheet today. But a very, very nice goal there from him. And there it is, the final whistle, 3-1 to the Kingsland boys. What a very, very good performance that was. Let's have a look at the match stats. 12 shots to their 9, 7 on target to their 4, 55% of possession. A little bit lower than what we have been having lately. But still, we won the possession battle, which is what I want us to do in every single game we have. So, yeah, a beautiful performance. Once again, beating the team second in the league. Let's go, Passionate. Let's go. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. And, yep, yeah, everybody delighted. Happy, happy days, people. And let's go have a look at how we're doing in the league table and see where we're going to come back for the next game. Well, here's the league table. We are three points clear of Boston in second. 12 points clear of Kidderminster in third. It is looking like it is our league to lose. We are doing very, very well this season. I would be amazed if we didn't win it this season. And now let's go have a look. See where we're going to come back. Where shall we say? I think... I think Nuneaton. Nuneaton Borough. Come back for that one. Yeah, I think that sounds good. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's eight games in the future. So that's what we're going to do. I'll be back with you boys tomorrow for the game against Nuneaton Borough. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please pop a massive thumbs up down below. Every like really does help the channel out, like I said at the start. Cannot emphasise just how much they help. So please do smash that like button. And as well as that, if you're new around here, please do smash that subscribe button down below. As of recording, we're on 541 absolute nutters who are subscribed to the channel. If we could hit 550 by Christmas, I, that would be beautiful. So can we please try and do that? Share the video about, retweet it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, share it wherever you want. Please do get us to 550 by the end of Christmas. That would be beautiful. 
And follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well as that, uh, join the Passion for FM Discord. Check out their website, their Twitter page, their Facebook page. As ever, details all down below. The website especially is amazing. There's some really good guides written on there. There's some awesome resources to download as well. So go and check that website out. And yep guys, that's episode 20 over and done with. I shall see you tomorrow for episode 21 when we do take on Nunny and Bala. And yep guys, see you then. Arrivederci.